All right, hello, hello, Leos. Leos, 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 okay. So this is for your October's energies. I'm doing it very late. I'm actually doing it the day of the uh, 1014, the day of the, uh, yeah, the eclipse. It's already passed. There's lots of different stuff. Um, this, I brought this in for fun, okay? So uh, there was a lot of heavy stuff. Oh man, um, a lot of different stuff. I don't know if I even wanna bring some of it up. Um, the mama drama, the mama drama. Um, so Libra season, Libra is spotlighted too, but I will tell you this big, huge space, there was so much that was like revealed during this time. Um, I'm personally a Libra, so I had my birthday. This is from one of my daughters for fun. And it's kind of one of these roasting, an adult party game that roasts you and your friends for you. Um, I did see 1022 spotlighted. Um, so there's also some Sagittarius energies, um, whether you, Leo, there's also Aries, there's Capricorn, um, Cancer signs, and Libras. Okay, different names, lots of different names. So I was thinking there's such a gap in between here that there was so many, there's like different Leos. Um, so if it, if you're not dealing with some of this heavy shit, the mama drama. Okay, so I'm gonna throw out music to start with. We've got passive aggressiveness with uh, passive by Perfect Circle, uh, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus energy possibly. Um, we've also got, my name is Earl, the scenes, um, Randy's scenes are in it. We got Joy in there too, right? And Earl. So Sagittarius energy also spotlighted with this and then the Libra, okay? And I actually, in between, I had um, a giant one-on-one um, -on -one personal reading with Sagittarius energies, uh, spent a lot of time with them, dinner and different. So maybe you also do that, right? August is spotlighted, being self-reliant. So that might be those that Libra Virgo energy. Hmm, I don't know why I'm bringing it up. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, this adult party game <laughs> uh, was from one of my daughters and it is, I'm just gonna throw it in to, have some fun with it, okay? Uh, and maybe you could review it. The, I mean, let's just be honest, this is about roasting. So even like uh, someone, okay, the other songs being, it's literally, can you take certain things? Because you'd be roasted with the names and stuff. Okay, Cleaning at My Closet, Eminem song. Um, so Haley, he talks about Haley in there and then his mama and stuff like this. Uh, he's Libra. Um, and I don't know why I think it's Dr. Dre. I'm not sure what his sign is. I never really looked that one up, but you forgot about Dre. <laughs> um, Randy. Anyways, so this is, you flip the coin, tell or don't tell. This is how you stir, stir the pot even. So this can even be not knowing what people think can lead to. So these are just so weird. Who is the best with the kids? Oh boy. Oh shit. See, who is the best with the kids? So this is going to be about parenting. I am someone raising their hand. Opportunities for growth. Everything is happening for me and my evolution. I'm not a victim of the things that happen. I take ownership of my life and make the best of the challenges along my journey. I see how difficult moments help me to become my best version and I am thankful for them. Okay. Um, this is even raising up. Okay. Man, the covert narcissist. So the feminine energy... Uh, I'm sorry to any feminines out there, but I mean, first of all, knowing yourself, check yourself. We can all, I'm not saying that there's not times in life that we are victims to other human beings in certain situations, but um, sometimes they play the victim. Um, and I'm kind of seeing this with it. Some mama drama. Oh man. And then we got without me, you know? Two trailer park chip tricks. Oh shit. 
go around the outside. Then you got DMX and what's my name? <laughs> okay, who was the best with the kids? Stirring the pot. Don't tell. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's kind of creepy. So the object of this game is actually, like it literally says, to win this game, by the end of it, you're all mad at each other. <laughs> you all hate each other at the end of this game. I know this sounds very not, not uplifting and warm and compassionate. It's kind of like that Enneagram thing, okay? And you, Leos, are lucky because I'm trying out something new. Um, okay, for some of you, there might have been like drunken brawls. You were them or both of you. Who is the meanest drunk? Holy shit. Holy shit. It came to my mind before I looked at the cards. Sorry, I'm having my own little epiphany because I was really being... There's things I want to hold back because it's some heavy shit. Um, whether some people might have... But holy shit, who is the meanest drunk? I am. Play. <laughs> Push play. Someone has uh, took a video even of it. I'm completely engaged in what I do in the here and now. I call it play instead of work. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. We've got the Rubik's Cube, like solving it. Okay, whoa, okay. Who do you think writes in a journal every day? Maybe these also give you little clues. I'm gonna pull all these other little things out. Leo, you saw something or you were part of it and the, the cussing words came out and it was, maybe it happened at the end of this and it was cleaning out the closet and really, because, you know, there's a sense of always wanna act too. Uh, give hmm, have the p think that people can change right and grow and learn and the karma police radiohead this is what you get i lost myself a little bit so this is wow these might just be giving you weird clues okay who so who writes in a journal every day and i'm gonna pull other ones i got the mindful messages and i got the zodiac signs who shows the least emotion Mm. And who is most likely to chase the ice cream truck as an adult? Someone chased the ice cream truck as an adult. So they love ice cream. Okay, those, I'm gonna set these off to the side. Oh my, because underneath there, there's who is the most perverted. Hmm. Let's play. All right, so I'm gonna mindful messages. I'm gonna set it over there because the way some of these things look, especially with a, the most manipulative type. I'm like trying to be very delicate with words and not be completely offensive. You understand? Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but that's what also, they want to seem like they're such a good person. They're just helping. They're so friendly and to the outside or they're the victim in it. And, you know, okay, the mean is drunk. Um, I am going to pull Zodiac because it fell over here. So we've got new adventures. Today I open myself up to new adventures. I go out and do something I've been holding back from. I move through the fear rather than let it control me. I trust my intuition and follow my desires. So do some of you guys might like metal, like heavy metal, like screamo metal even? I found something new. It was Arch Enemy. Okay, Joey and Slipknot was spotlighted a little bit. Um... And Corey, like I, and then Chris, the name Chris was really spotlighted in Chris with a K and it's both feminine and masculine. So Christine, the K's, and then Brian, hmm, release. Today I release limiting beliefs, harmful thoughts, toxic patterns, and anything out of alignment. I am ready for transformation and welcome this shift. I'm creating space for a new chapter filled with love, abundance, and amazing opportunities. Who do you think writes in the journal every day? That person who's releasing this. So I get this sense of also like burn the pages, see ya. 
you know, letting that past go. Okay, so this band called uh, Arch Enemy, <laughs> um, really interesting one. You can, you can have the world and eagles fly alone. Uh, she's, um, I was just like, wow, I, I don't have words to describe. So anyways, the release of even the shouting and getting it out, but journaling about it too, letting go of it, personal development and personal, you know, self-love and seeing your own patterns, toxic patterns, releasing beliefs, whether it's you or them, you've got to, okay, so the Bible stuff, okay, you know, and, and Jesus, last night I, I, my daughter was having some wine, <laughs> and okay, Jesus was the, his first miracle, right, is he turned water into wine, the ultimate party savior, you know, in the book of John, but we've also got the one about removing the plank out of your own eye, right, if we can help someone else, so that's where that self-awareness and taking accountability for our own actions and certain things like that, right? Um, not blaming the devil or demons for our own bad choices and behaviors. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, certain things could sculpt your belief system. Um, when you look at, hmm, you know, when they talk about manifesting your own reality and everybody has a different maybe view or perspective, it really is based on their life. So and where they're, what they're taught to believe about the world and about who they are um, and what they, you know what I mean? So making your own choices, how will you know if you don't like what your true authentic self is or if you're just mimicking and copying what you've been, what's been programmed into your brains. Okay, no brains, Psalm 41 and walk, idiot, walk the hives. Who shows the least emotion? You know? Um, this is a reflection I'm seeing. I am enough. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come to my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am. And it's not personal. People's reactions or opinions of me are not really about me at all. People tend to project their own insecurities or fears onto one another. So when someone speaks unkindly to me, I'll remember they have something going on that has nothing to do with me. You know, um, the, the one really derogatory. So I'm telling you, we got some derogatory words towards women even. <laughs> you know, the, the see you next Tuesday. Um, and it's like, I'm, I'm holding it back so that, I don't know, because it's, I guess it's uncalled for, but whatever. That's why you get this. There's once again, this, I am enough and a self appreciation. I'm saying that even journaling things, finding a moment throughout the day that I can dedicate to myself. Find a comfortable space and bring a pen and paper. I will write a letter of appreciation to myself where I will pour love into who I am and all that I do. Yeah. Who shows the least emotions? And who's the most likely? And this is also that not personal thing. Hmm. Maybe that's just how they were raised, right? Recharge, invite magic into your life, always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. Loving space, even giving yourself. I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. They must get there themselves at their own time. I can simply hold loving space for them as they go through their journey. Wow, all is okay. All that I feel is okay. This is not repressing. So you can get some, you know, some toxic positivity 
you know, like people are like, you're just, you're negative, you're, or, you know what I mean? Or having emotions of anger, right? Worry, fear, anxiety, rejection, or overwhelm. See, the other song was Superman's Dead, Our Lady Peace. And literally the beginning of it is, do you worry that you're not liked? How long until you break? Hmm. I'm thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads me to higher expansion and expressing love. Today, I notice the things I appreciate about the people in my life. Take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. My love is infinite and it feels great to express it. So then we got the sublime, right? And what I got is love is what I got. This is very loving and even that's what I'm talking about, taking these control over your own emotions, um, not shaming or guilting, but learning how to release it and express it in a healthy, positive manner. The alcohol, <laughs> uh, maybe it was even camping or something. I mean, there's a new adventure. Okay. Whew. All right. I'm going to grab some other signs. Capricorn underneath there. 1616. So... You dealing with Capricorns or even your career, you have this in your chart, Pluto and Sagittarius there too. I'm seeing 622, 922. Oh, 1022. Did I bring that up in the beginning? So something's very spotlighted. The shift into Scorpionic season for you. The 22nd is very spotlighted. This transformation, even with even releasing and letting go of things. That's what I'm saying. Also 922, so Virgo energy, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. I'm, yeah, that's what's underneath there. And I did see, like, I think, like, New Year's Eve, Capricorn maybe even. Um, or New Year's Eve spotlighted. Huh. Okay. So, over here. So, dealing with Aries, or maybe your communication is in Aries. Um, or you're blocked. Okay, Leo is blocked. Um, it's very fiery, very passionate. Um, the trees and the fairy whispers, um, the tree wisdom and the crystals. Underneath there, I got the oak. Someone's not having strength, not feeling very grounded. Even maybe an Aries might be for some of you about communicating this. 115, um, to a Capricorn or from a Capricorn, you got that there. I saw 115, yeah, the 15s. I saw 15s spotlighted. Okay, this reminds me of, there was a DoorDash thing and people stealing the driver. Okay, vice versa. Hmm, months of the year being spotlighted, December. Yeah, yeah. So this might have already happened or you pay attention, this might happen. I'm seeing the crystal here to agate, find your solid ground. Something about a gate, right? At the gate. This is a December, when an agate even. Um, Work-life balance strugglers, wherever you need more stability in your life. When you want to get into your body, try fire agate. When too much screen time has you feeling disconnected from anything, the slightest bit echo, eco, Moss agate. Hmm. Find your solid ground. So maybe uh, maybe it's from Capricorn energy or something during this time. Hmm. Woo. Okay, I'm leaving that one out. I know this is kind of weird how I'm doing it, Leo's. Let me see what time it is. 1906. Yeah, so we've definitely pulled some Sagittarius, this Carnelian. Get uh, curious, even traveling. Carnelian, the red, the fire, 1921, 1922. Get curious. Open these scrolls and learning, higher education, right? Learning, traveling, always learning. Always learning. What do you got over here? Um, and the ways of water. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ah, thanks you for reminding me. Um, so my nose was sorry, the white willow, the ways of water. Okay, the Celtic 
So we're going to jump to fairies a little bit after this. But um, the Celtic goddess of water, I mean, I, I mean, A-I-N-E, was spotlighted about, and also like fairy, um, the story that there she's mated with humans and there's a fairy species. This is also got Ireland, like stuff like this. Um, but Percy Jackson, okay, you get number. There was a lot of weird numbers, 75 and 12. The ways of water, the water heals. Mm. Traveling even to go see. Learning about it. Okay, learning about even that, what I was talking about. It, she actually, there's a, I saw this beautiful picture of it and um, there's the Olympians. So the Percy Jackson, so the new, I think a new show is coming out with Percy Jackson, right? And the Olympians, we've been expecting you or something like that. <laughs> um, but where he's like in taxi cab and they only have one eye, like they, they don't have eyes. And then there was this, you know, the battle with like a Medusa and stuff and they have to like not look at her, right? And then, but then they have to use Medusa's head to battle the other because once they cut a head, it grows more. It's just, that's like a growth of learning and each stage that you have to figure out. I don't understand. This is a very weird cryptic type thing. You know, that's kind of how this works. I just kind of tell the story. <laughs> what I see, this was fascinating. Okay, the light in the darkness. Oh wow, St. John's War, even finding that light in the darkness. Feel yourself, Morganite. And this is your own heart. There's like, the sun is like in a cage right here. And then we have California Poppy, the resurrection. The dream. Morganite, opportunities for growth. Being able to really actually be tapped into your own personal growth, your heart, listening to what your heart says, a new adventure, finding light in the darkness. Okay, even with the drinking, uh, the resurrection, California poppy, the release, today releasing these things, writing it down. Who does it? Those... It makes me, California Poppy's always going to make me think of, you know, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy. Hmm. California Dreaming. Okay, so whatever. It's not personal. Marshmallow, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. So something about the cake, okay? Yeah. Even the band, Cake, Frank Sinatra, and Rock and Roll Lifestyle. Those are the songs. Marshmallow in the cake. Weird. Okay, you got Dead Man's Party and Oingo Boingo too. Okay. Maybe it's a big Halloween party even, right? It's Halloween time. That's why we're having fun with it. Maybe we're playing some party games. Okay? Life isn't all it gotta be so serious. That makes it, so distill yourself. There's time. So dealing with the time, right? I am enough. The, something's not personal. It's not personal. Distilling yourself. The dreamer. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. So there's some Pisces, pilgrimage. Okay, I definitely did have some Pisces because Dr. Seuss was coming through too. Um, I really appreciate, I, I can't remember his last name, but Wes, he raps uh, Dr. Seuss. And so it was, uh, all the places you go, right? Um, as well as uh, the cat in the hat, thing one and thing two. But you also have the Lorax, okay? Your dreams have chosen you, okay? So many about, uh, people call themselves chosen or think that they're God's chosen. And I never, I don't want to like put any mm, poop in your cornflakes, I guess. But 
<clears throat> it also says, you know, in God there is no favoritism. Right? There isn't favoritism. So when you really understand about staying humble too, um, this is really hard because this is about trying to uh, truly have understanding even for mm, your enemy, I guess. I guess whatever you, you're, you're, you're what people want to call their karmic or different things like that. But there are so many things where we all have been chosen by God. Okay. But we have unique abilities and gifts. to have what we have, the skills, the talents. You know? That was the easiest way I could, and I just got this sense of peace. Hmm. The dreamer. A lot of Pisces, Sagittarius. This is the magic of life. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. Expressing love even. Destiny. Dreamer and destiny. Acknowledge your mission. Align with your purpose. You have gifts. You have gifts to share with the world. And when you can see that. So I bring up this other band. Um, Arch Enemy. And it's like screamo music. That's all I'm going to say. But it, it really is about empowering yourself. And you can have what you want and breaking free of others expectations and beliefs and things and that's what sovereignty is and really jesus was like the ultimate rebellion against the jewish doctrine stuff that was you know if you really read it i also looked at understanding the bible in a little bit different way so of seeing it as the artistic nature of it from historic accounts. Um, seeing it in a different light, a different perspective. Mm. So I'm getting these magical times or enchanted times. I always like calling it. These are Jody Bergsmas. They're always lovely and uplifting. Uh, those other ones were... Um, the Herbarian Crystallaries of Maya Tolman and Kate O'Hare. I like always giving, you know, credit where credit is due. I just enjoy reading the cards and I love learning about it and their perspective. So more Sagittarius dignity. Take pride in yourself. Okay, that was the other thing of really having the pride, you know, but not letting it get so far out that you literally think you're a god. I, I mean, does this make sense, you know? that you become what we would call a narcissistic person who is toxic and <laughs> versus someone, an honorable person who sees them, sees themselves even humble, knowing that you can create, but also knowing that you're, you have limitations and you got to work with what you, your skills and what you've got and achievements yours take pride in yourself so this is like even putting the blinders on to what you know live keeping up with the joneses and your neighbors and what they do and certain things and where they're at in their life and this this is the whole thing of focusing on your own growth and all that you've become feel honored by your choices achievements and your actions, humor. See, I told you, we gotta keep it light, right? Laugh at yourself, lie in your heart, and let nothing steal your happiness, right? Let nothing steal your happiness. Even if you're, all those other emotions, when you can see them as a beautiful thing too, then there's this reconciliation. Remember the source of love. See, and I'm seeing love again and two messages. Today, I will notice the things I appreciate about the people in my life. I take a moment to send them love and to wish them well. 
My love is infinite and it feels great to express it. And then the action. Whoa, so maybe even that's the thing. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. So you got to take the action. The Pegasus. Flying. I just want to see this one. Who would you set up with your sibling? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're that. Maybe you have some single siblings or something. Who would you set up with your sibling? <laughs> These are fun, okay? We're just, I'm just full. Light, light in the thing. I see Dan or darkness. Light in the darkness, St. John's Wart. Who is most likely to cry during an argument to get their way? Oh, I'll tell you. The meanest drunk one. <laughs> the DJ. Okay, okay, okay. Who do you think writes in the journal every day? Yeah, maybe even that's it, right? Who would spend the whole night trying to get the DJ to cue up their favorite song? Resurrection. The person that writes in their journal every day. Distill yourself. Who is secretly, oh, well, the kinkiest. Um, I am enough. <laughs> okay, 40? Who is most likely to get carded when they're 40? Oh, this is like saying you looked really young, right? Dignity. Sagittarius. Yeah, looking in the mirror. I am enough. You even. Sagittarius, Pisces, whatever. Uh, humor, laughter, right? The ice cream truck. Who cares the most about their social media presence? Hmm. Humor. Hugh. Hugh? Okay, whatever. Who is the purest? Who is the fairest of them all? Reconciliation? Okay, there's red hair. Whose personality changes the most when they are around different people? Okay, that's what I was talking about. Uh, people pleasing stuff. Chameleon. Hmm. I personally, I mean, I understand it's okay to understand other people, but if this can be very two-facedness, Libras, I'm sure everybody, Leos, uh, hmm. sorry, but it's a lot of Libras coming to mind, <laughs> and Geminis, I guess, but do you understand, um, it's, Regardless, people, Pisces, okay. Mm, it's really about a, a Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Hmm. Well, whatever. These are fun, are they not? I hope you're enjoying, I am. Okay, Scorpios, all right, 3309. Let's see, so y'all dealing with Scorpios or Scorpio season maybe spotlighted right now. I'm gonna shuffle it. Yeah, Neptune, this is even coming back to reality. I see 821 here, 8-3, Taurus and Scorpio spotlighted actually. 82, 82, 28, 21, I don't know, 221. This is coming out of, this is like coming out of an illusion and getting grounded into reality. Oh shit, so this could be some sense of a, a tower moment that brings you back to reality or or this is also someone who can help bring your dreams into reality and make them realistic like your second house being spotlighted huh what you value where you spend your money how you your standards Wherever the Taurus or the Scorpio is in your chart. Okay. Let's just say hair on that. Okay. Maybe that's who you would sign up with your sibling. I don't know, Leo. Mars. So, passion. This is about passion and action. So, Scorpio, for real, that's kind of crazy. Or an Aries, Libra. Mm-hmm. That's what I see with that. Okay. Who's the meanest drunk? Okay. Who's most likely to cry during an... St. John's Wort, see, there's, like, depression with that, you know, St. John's Wort's always about, like, especially seasonal effect disorder, you know what I mean? Seeing that as, 
Even in the winter time, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I come to talk to you again. Who's the meanest drunk? A Virgo, a water sign, and a Capricorn. <laughs> Virgo's upside down. Wow. Holy crap. Virgo, like, loses all their passion. Oh. Oh, damn. You heard me. Oh, you heard me, ho. You heard me. That's what it said. 68. 68. 618. 617. We've got 1024. It says Scorpios, too. And then we've got Capricorn. 610. So, a bit of Gemini. Or cancer signs, excuse me. The water signs could be cancer signs, Scorpio. And then uh, Capricorn. Who would spend the whole night trying to get the DJ to cue up their favorite song? And who writes? Hmm. Well, fascinating. Okay. Um, wow. Virgo. I'm, I'm surprised at you. I did get... Nah, I'm not going to bring you up. I'm going to... Okay. Who is secretly the kinkiest? Oh, we're getting some deep, dark stuff now. This is coming out with this drunkenness or something. Distill your life. Time. <laughs> they don't want... Oh, there's, there's a, quite a few. Aquarius. Wow, online stuff even, some, some Aquarius stuff. We got 10, 11, Libra, 11, 10. Oh, Cancer, Taurus, and Sag. What? We got, who is most likely to get carded when they're 40? Okay, that's way too many. So I'm just, I'm gonna put those back in. I'm gonna put the other ones back in too. Let's see, we have fully more. Dude, Aquarius and Sagittarius and Taurus. What? Cancer signs upside down. <laughs> I don't want to go there with what I just thought. What, what I just thought with those. <laughs> Let's go to another card. Okay. Who is most likely to get carded when they're 40? Right? Take pride in yourself. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Sagittarius, Venus, very beautiful, mm. lovely. I see also we've got maybe even a Cancer sign, seven, nine, 79 specific, maybe nine, seven, Virgos even, or Sagittarius, Venus being spotlighted. Who cares the most about their social media? Oh, well, Sagittarius. Mm, laugh out loud. Okay, who cares the most about their social media? Let's see. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm, I'm having a little bit more fun with it, okay? Laugh at yourself. Lighten the mood. That's why I watched some, some scenes of, like, uh, my name is Earl. <laughs> I can't help it. Aquarius. Who cares the most? Of course, it, it is the online friendship thing, isn't it? Hmm, whatever. Okay, who, who, I keep saying Hugh. I don't know why. Who is the purest? Who is the purest of them all? Remember the source of love. Pisces, to me, I know this seems weird, but to me, the Pisces comes through very, very compassionate and loving. And moon, Pisces. Uh, also cancer signs, right? Whose personality changes the most around other people? Libra! No way under there's Libra. <laughs> Maybe even specific Libra moons. Hmm. Aquarius with a Libra moon even. Okay. Whose personality changes the most when they are around other people? Uranus. You're an ass. Who, this flew over here. So someone, it's about who would, who would you set up with your sibling? Morgan. 20, someone's 20. Maybe it's that, that's the answer. 
there there's Aquarius energy. It's something you've seen it before, man. I understand Leo's. I had some Leo's. I have Leo siblings and a Leo friends. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not drunk enough to get, actually I haven't drank at all, so I can't say drunk enough. But I, so far, I haven't started my drinking yet for today. <laughs> just kidding, it's like the weekend, all right? Um, oh, that's the other song, The Weeknd, Starboy. I'm a motherfucking Starboy. <laughs> Saturn, Pisces, Cancer, ooh. The 19th, this spotlighted again. I also got 421 and 412. Taurus, 419, so some Aries and Taurus. Capricorn, Pisces, feeling like a motherfucking star. Okay. <laughs> okay, whose personality changes the most when they are around different people? I'm still going with that one. This is fun. All right, it is like 4104 on the clock. Cancers, okay, so there can be some manipulation. Oh, I've seen some cancers be that way as well. Okay. Mothering. Told you there might be some mama stuff. Saturn is there. Cancer Capricorn. Mother, father. And then show pretend like they're following the rules and stuff. Air sign is underneath there too. Two, five. Aquarius. 125. Interesting. Okay. This has been fabulous. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's definitely been a little bit different than normal. Um, but hey, let's pull out some more questions. And I'm going to end this. Uh, I just, I'm like I said, trying something. This is about stirring the pot. Who do you think is the most intelligent? Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, there's people who think other people are dumb as rocks. And I'm going to tell you, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. I do though. Like the word idiot, moron. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh who do you think is the most intelligent person? Like literally, let's think about lists legitimately that you really actually think they're wise and you listen to. You know? Cause there's certain people that it gets just annoying when you just keep Showing, it's like you showed him everything, but it's like it didn't click or something. Okay, whose personality is the hardest to explain to someone? Yeah. And I see being smart again. Who is book smart but has no common sense? Maybe these are all answering your questions and it shows you who's the most political. The person who has book smarts, but no common sense. <laughs> Saturn. So Capricorn. I feel like Taurus as well. One, nine, 19. 19, 20. Who would spend the whole night trying to get the DJ? That said, I said Capricorn again with that. That's so interesting. California. Who do you wish you could mute in real life? Hmm. Okay, these are fun. All right, Leo's. I'm gonna flow through and get a few more. I think that's what I'm gonna do it this time. Who travels the most? This one wants to flip too. And who is probably high right now? Who's probably high right now? 4404? The same one who's like secretly the most kinkiest? Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Who travels the most? The Sagittarius, maybe, whatever. The Venus. They're really young. Or they feel very young and vibrant. Who is most likely to brighten someone's day? All online, Aquarius. Who cares the most about their social media presence? Right. So they're going to be so loving and kind, especially on social media. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who is the biggest Debbie Downer? This cancer sign <laughs> or Libra or um, and who would hook up with her cousin? 
Ooh. Libra, Cancer. Mm. Leos. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, I am going to pull more cards just to see. See, I told you. Yes. My little Taurus. <laughs> My little Taurus. Taurus Gemini. She, she always likes stirring the pot. That's what, oh, Libra's over here. Libra, yeah. Uh -huh. And then Neptune. So this is, wow. Something, you, this is like seeing clearly, this is their pattern even. There isn't, who, whose person, personnel is the hardest to explain? It's almost like this is who they are. You can't really explain it. Hmm. Fire sign, Leo. Aries, oh, I left the Aries sign right there. So it could be Aries, because it looked right at that. And Sagittarius, so fire signs too. Um, who is probably high right now? Let's see. I thought it was gonna be Libra, for sure. Who's high right now? California puppies. Oh man, that's a whole different level, huh? Saturn. What? Capricorn? You're feeling restricted. Trying to follow the rules. Okay. Scorpio, sun. Scorpio, you high. Or Leo. I see Scorpio, Taurus, and Gemini. <laughs> Suns. Maybe they are your sons, or that's the sun signs. All right, so who travels the most? The sun. Yeah. Maybe it's, the Le Maybe it's you, Leo, Sagittarius, or Capricorn, even. Fire. Yeah, fire signs. The fire signs love movement, don't they? Action. Go, go, go. Sagittarius. Achievements. All right, let's see, what's this one? And who's most likely to brighten someone's day? Aquarius. Earth sign. Nice, 1126, so maybe even with Scorpio. Or wait, no, that's Sagittarius, right? Pisces, I'm playing with this too. But Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Hmm. Who's the biggest Debbie Downer, okay? 811. Leo! Oh shit, Leo! <laughs> the 811 Leo, your biggest downer. Maybe some of you have a Leo moon. And oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I see Cancer, Leo moon. That might be Leo moons. Taurus with Leo moons. Jupiter in reverse. Like, they don't have wisdom or abundance. This is like negativity, even. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, uh, who would hook up with their cousin? I don't know if we want to know any of these guys. Maybe we should. Scorpio and Cancers. Gross! Pisces and Virgo. Gemini. Okay, um, that's some taboo right there, right, right, right? That's Scorpionic energy right there. You guys, I mean, weird, 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 weird. Okay, look smart, but no common sense. This is cool. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are as well. Okay, Legos, thank you for your time. <laughs> and I hope you have enjoyed. Um, so, you know, don't stop believing. Keep on trucking and all that good stuff. Um, I hope you have an enjoyable. It looks like it's going to be fun. You know, make, make the best of it. Okay, bye-bye.